Throughout American history, we haven't told the true story of diversity in cowboy culture in, in the U.S. Through a little bit of research, I found that um, dating back to before the Civil War, uh, many of the cowboys were black. Some say more than a quarter of the cowboys were black. And so this is not a history that's, that's shared equally. Um, and so I felt like despite being located in rural Mississippi, it was a good place to share that story, particularly because it's not a place where people think about cowboy history. I saw a small group of African-American cowboys and cowgirls at the back of our annual Christmas parade in Cleveland, Mississippi, where my wife and I live. And so I literally jumped into the parade and asked the riders if I could just come and see where they keep their horses, what they do. We don't have working cowboys and cowgirls like you have in Texas, Oklahoma, or even Louisiana, other states in the South. Almost none of them actually use horses to herd cattle like a traditional cowboy would. So the Delta Hill Riders and the local riding population in Mississippi is much more about recreation and social identity. Identifying with that cowboy culture, wearing the hats and the boots, but they're all doing different things throughout the day, throughout the week, but the common denominator is their love for the horses and, and the love for the classic American cowboy. It's a part of their life and, and they love it. There's, there's nothing you can do to take it out of them. There's a group of a uh, few guys who ride and uh, every day will just kind of go either out in the countryside or sometimes into the city. And so one of the pictures that has gained a lot of attention is when they took their horses to McDonald's and there was some music on and they were dancing atop their horses. And prior to the photo, they went through the drive through with their horses. So it was like this really uh, special interaction of culture and uh, the classic Americana of McDonald's in the background. And, I think the misconception that people have in general of, of cowboy culture in the U.S. is that, that it's predominantly a white thing. And if you look at Hollywood movies, uh, the classic characters have been John Wayne and uh, this heroic, stoic white man. But uh, in reality, the history is, is much more diverse and goes back. I also realized that I wanted to share the stories of, of the people off their horses, so the less obvious photos. And so some of my favorite moments are uh, involving time spent in their homes, and including uh, one of the pictures that I really love is a little uh, newborn baby that was just a few days home for the first time out of the hospital. I think, again, getting beyond those obvious moments, you, you get those tender, intimate moments with the people who are in your stories. And as a photojournalist, you don't always get the opportunity to do that when you're on assignment because you have a limited amount of time. I love this photo as well of, of the Smith family and, and the oldest, um, the mom of the family is Jardine Smith. She's 91 years old and to me the Smith family has been a, a very special part of the project because um, through the oral history accounts that I've gathered uh, throughout the scope of the project, I found that they were one of the first families to be um, holding horse events and trail rides and horse shows on their property and so really in some ways they're like the nucleus of this local culture. They've been proudly riding horses for generations and, and even people who live in Mississippi don't necessarily know that so they're very much a subculture, an overlooked group of people who are, are really proud of their background and I think that's symbolic of the African-American cowboy and cowgirl experience across the nation. And I think in general, cowboy culture has always been a male-dominated activity. In reality, there's always been females involved as well. And so in the Delta, we do have some cowgirls. But what's funny is that the, the women are actually respected for being better riders. They take better care of their horses. They train them more carefully. They're a little bit more technically savvy. And so a lot of the times, you'll hear the guys joking like, oh, I can't ride as well as Peggy, or I can't ride as well as Pam, because they've actually just taken more care to to perfect the skills a little bit better. And I think uh, you'll see in some of the pictures as well that there, some of the younger girls are learning to ride from either their aunt or their grandmother. And so it's really special that they're passing it down to the girls as well. I want people to care about rural America and, and to care about the diversity of, of cowboy and cowgirl culture. 
I think more symbolically it's, it's thinking about how history books in general have, have been written and including people um, of all different backgrounds in the, the fabric of the history of the U.S. and in many cases we haven't done justice and, uh, to that history and on a small scale I hope that my project can shine a little bit of light on that. <laughs>